Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate QuickBooks with Shopify. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at QuickBooks or login to our current account. Uh, once we are here at our workspace at uh, QuickBooks, we want to go to the uh, left corner of our screen and go into apps. Right here we can search for Shopify. So you can see it's Shopify by one SaaS. We can click there. And if you actually satisfied with uh, this version of Shopify, you can get the app and basically try to make this, uh, make this integration work like this. Or we can use automate.io, which is integration app. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And we want to go to the top corner of our screen. Uh, to integrations. Once we are here, we want to go to the bottom left part and see all categories. Right here, we have to search for QuickBooks. As you can see, QuickBooks is here. We click on QuickBooks. Now we have to find Shopify like this. We get redirected and as you can see, Automate.io is providing uh, some uh, popular integrations for us, but if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down and you can get to uh, where you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, on the triggers, you want to start with QuickBooks first. So let's go with the QuickBooks. On the other hand, underneath the actions, you want to go with Shopify. So let's scroll down and pick something from Spotify that you will need. Um, Shopify, sorry, not Spotify. Now we have to hit try it now button. We can redirect it. Uh, we have to log into our automate.io account and we are a few clicks away uh, from uh, we are a few clicks away from finishing this integration. On the Zapier.com, uh, we also need to create ourselves an account. Once we do that, let's go to the le uh, top left side and click on create ZAP. ZAP stands for uh, integration. Now we can name our ZAP, but we don't have to, it's not mandatory. But same as at uh, Automate, we are starting with a trigger app, which will be QuickBooks. Trigger event, let's go with, for example, new account. Let's stick with the first options. Now we have to log into the account that we created couple of minutes ago and now we can test our trigger on the second action uh, let's go and as you probably thought let's go with Shopify create products for example continue and the last thing is we have to sign in to Shopify to make this integration work and that's about it it's very easy thanks for watching and see you on the next video